Yo, what's up? Good morning. Good morning. All right. Good morning, y'all. We are live. Send that there. We'll drop it into the vault as well. Let me turn my light on. It's dark in here. Might as well as shutting off my fan. Oh, yeah, baby. Let's get rolling. So this will be my, actually my, I guess I traded Monday. Why is this? There we go. Um, morning, 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 morning. Um, happy to have you guys. Let me post this in the vault as well. Ain't got it or main discussion. Yeah, so this actually, I didn't trade yesterday. I was out, um, but ready to rock and roll here today. Um, kind of see what's in store for us um, here this morning. I, I do know yesterday was pretty much flat, um, but let's see what is available for us today. I am leaning like I love. I'm loving TLM. What I'm what I'm noticing in kind of just my own back testing and my monitor looks weird over here. What the heck? Why does my monitor look so weird? Maybe it's Slack. Did Slack change their like colors? It looks super weird. But uh, oh well. But uh, what I'm noticing is again, whenever we have, you know, let's say consolidations, like a TLM is in play that day. Whenever we gap up, if I'm shorting back down and there's demand inside, what I'm noticing is there's a lot of fake outs. Like we get like this, and then we stop and then we rotate later in the day. Right. I'm noticing that common thing happen a lot um and again it's, it's just part of adapting and reacting right uh and, and learning from you know if where you're where you're going wrong right if you are um and i think that's one way one spot i'm going wrong in my own um you know kind of trading um right there is that specifically so um i am going to avoid a trade like that uh, demand in the way, demand there. I, I mean, unless if we get like some awesome acceptance, like we come down, stop on the high and come back in. Like, unless we get something like that, I'll take it. But like truly just want to avoid it. But I am going to throw it on the watch list. I find myself doing it a lot, but but I will put on the watch list because we are in like a higher time frame balance. So um, it could still, could still be a pretty solid trade. Um, so uh, spy looking for potential shorts. Uh, yeah, if you guys are just having on, make sure you again like this video. Excited to have you. Thank you again for tuning in. Um, let's look at Apple. Apple yesterday was pretty trendy, so you're gonna stay away. Um, Tesla pretty not not super super trendy yesterday. I'll, I'll throw it in potential short play. Um, Google as well. Nah, demand in the way. I'm just not gonna worry about it. So this is the same thing as what I was talking about on SPY, right? So a little different, demand is outside, right? So this rotation can be more likely to happen because we don't have really any place where buyers are present again until outside of TLM. You see what I'm saying? So this would be, I would be more likely to take this one than I would uh, SPY. But again, we'll throw it on. Um, Meta is going to be in the same boat. A lot of short opportunities on TLM today. Um, AMD, you got to have some kind of demand blocking. I'm going to stay away from that. We got enough on the watch list. IWN, same. Q, same. Amazon could be potential short. Uh, anything you guys are watching, we got tons of time here. We got about 10 minutes till market opens. Anything you guys are watching um, here this morning? And I could, I'll throw some more on there, but. Spine shop. Yep. Saw your message in the Slack. Rivian. What are you looking at on Rivian? Oh, crap. Um, K 
Casey, let me ask you a question real quick. So um, what I'm talking about is, so when we're using the triple line method, right, which freedom C students do, right? Whenever we have demand inside of TLM and we gap up the next day, I'm noticing a reoccurring thing, right? We'll come inside. It looks like we're accepting. We'll come back out. We might even like almost hit target and come out, stop on, and then we like, we either trend up the rest of the day or we end up rotating later in the day, like you do to news or whatever. Um, I'm happy. I'm seeing it happen quite a bit. It's, but it's only happening when there's demand in there. Like Microsoft demands outside, like it wouldn't happen. It's only happening like this. Um, so again, just something to be mindful of. Um, audio is out. It's coming through on my end. Yeah, it, it's coming. It's coming through. You, you, there may be some um, issues on your side there. It's coming through. Um, and then, so that I already talked about Spy. Let's look at Shopify. Um, and then we'll look at Rivian. So, Shopify, honestly, solid TLM. With, again, there's the man there. Uh, I know you're looking for potential long. So, let's try to identify kind of the last low, the last high that created this low here for a, because I'm looking for a potential swing. So, um, I'm really looking for like these highs to be taken out. But so, we've obviously been in a, in a downtrend, right? So, we need to come out of that downtrend, right? What's bad about this downtrend is if we look at it, right? Yes, there's been like little, you know, strong, maybe maybe some strong highs form, but this move is pretty aggressive down, right? This move is pretty fast, right? Especially if we zoom out, it's a pretty fast downward move, right? So any pullback could be just a liquidity grab and then a move lower, right? So you want to be careful with that. I would really like to see, I would really like to see a push higher a lower low form kind of like, and then look like a stop on, and then we push higher. That's what I'd really like to see. It's kind of what I'm looking for. Uh, it's on my radar for sure. Um, but we still have, you know, we still have demand here, demand, demand, demand. We have several, you know, areas of demand, really strongest demand being here and down here, right? Um, but because of this moves being so strong and fast and aggressive, right? This change in trend, right? Could just be a pullback for, a continuation for for lower right um so we really want to make sure that we have that kind of pattern of stop hunt reversal right fast reversal to make sure that we know buyers are here um and then we can kind of get it because that moves so great aggressive there's no strong high right there's no strong high on the you know on this time frame there is obviously on a five minute but and then let's look at rivian my cousin owns a rivian she actually had it's weird like she gets most like really bad motion sickness and the only way that she can actually sit in a car is um, <laughs> if she's in a, in a Rivian <laughs> or like a Tesla. It's so cool. But um, what are you looking for? Potential reversal. Yeah, it's kind of the same thing as shop, right? Really aggressive move down, really aggressive selling kind of all the way down. Really our strong high is going to be up here on the 30 minute, right? Strong high because of. I think anyway, just but just just with an eye test, yeah. So our strong highs up up in here, right? So an actual change in trend on the thirty minute would be the break of that high. We don't have another strong high up until then, but it's kind of the same thing. I could see us pulling back, maybe looking like we're reversing, stop everybody out, and then push higher, right? That's when I would take it. It's kind of that same thing because this move is so aggressive, it's so fast, and we're like we're making like this is we're at like all time lows. Right. Yeah, we're we're like all time lows, right? You don't want to just buy down here because there's a couple green candles, right? Look what happened the last time there was a couple green candles, right? So you want to make sure that we're actually reversing trend and actually changing trend and play with that, right? So again, like obviously don't get short here, but be bearish until these highs are taken out, right? Like I'm not getting long on Rivian until twenty-four dollars is taken out. Right, until we break above 24, and then I'm going to play a pullback and I can target, you know, 180, you know, not really, but I can target up to, you know, these highs, right? So, um, do I think a reversal could come? Absolutely. Right. And again, I don't know what fundamentals are like. Obviously, they're way down, but um, reversal comes, but you don't have to catch the bottom, right? When you catch the bottoms and tops, you typically end up losing long term because it's not sustainable to be a sniper. Snipers have a very short career in the in the, in the military, right? Um, you want to wait for 
an actual change in trend, the break of a strong high. And then if you don't have the risk reward or retracement and then take the trade with your stop below the low. So that's my analysis there on Rivian. We got, what time is it? 827. Uh, if you guys are in here uh, and you're not from the vault, make sure you guys do join the vault. There is going to be a link. Uh, it's going to 100% free. There is going to be a link down in my uh, description of the video. Uh, feel free to join it if, if you're not in the vault. Um, it should be rock and roll. I'll probably get some more people on here in a, in a few minutes. Uh, you bet. Well, so where, where are you out of? Where are you from? I think you're new here, right? Nice, Salt Lake City, baby. I love it. Yeah, let's see what ha see what can happen today. I I really like Tesla for shorts. I really like Tesla for shorts. I think that's my favorite play. Truly, I think it's my favorite play. Just a break of this low, like again, come out, stop at the high, break of the low, pull back, boom. Could be fast, but I, I really like Tesla. I think it could rotate down. Higher time frame trends down, you know, um, lots of good stuff to like about it. Probably like the 157, uh, sorry, the 155 puts would be fine. One tick out of the money with, with 2DT, you're fine. You can do the 157.5 too. They're pretty cheap too, 300. Yeah, 155, one take out of the money, you should be solid. Yeah, I'm honestly just going to watch Tesla because I think it's going to be fast. I think it's going to rotate fast. Um, the only thing was yesterday's kind of trendy, but also not trendy at all. So, um, I'll throw my alerts on after we uh, open because it always. So we pop out. Let's see if we can get, get down in here. Again, really liking it. No, I could I could do the I'll pull the 157s. So I'll pull the 157. Yeah, I'll pull the 157s. Let's see if we can take that low out there. Okay, we take it out. Let's see if we can kind of trade below it. If we rotate really fast, again, not gonna not just gonna take it, but if we can kind of pull back and I mean, it might have been really fast, but I'd like to see kind of a, a pullback. That's good, though. That's a good sign. <laughs> I should have just taken it, I guess. Jeez. Jeez, man. Yeah, see, that's what I was going to be weary of. Kind of that soft one of the low. But I, I really think it could it could see lower. Um, let's see if we can get a little bit of a pullback. Do we, get a little, we might not get it, but that's exactly what you want to see. So I, I want to see like a pullback probably right into here. Probably target down to there. Let's see if we can get that. I guess I should have just taken it, huh? You never know, bro. Yeah, contracts went from 208 I was looking at to they're now 240 uh, Now they're 232 But yeah, let's see. Again, still market open. Uh, yeah, I'm going to take that there. At 10. Let's see what we get. Getting a little bit of a scout, but also not really. Let's see. Probably we should have waited a little bit more. Kind of it could be the same thing, but um, I like it. I like it. <laughs> if I lose, I freaking lose again. It's okay. Whatever. I like it all the way around. Put my OCOs in. There we go, baby. That's good. Let me know if I miss anything. Uh, so I do not play pre-market, um, any pre-market action. I just don't play it. Um, that's why. So I don't look at it. I don't use it. I just use gap ups as demand, gaps down as supply. That's that's it. Really solid there. 
So at or below my target of 156.15. I think my sizing was a little off. Yeah, my sizing is a little off, but that's okay. And then 157.8. It's got the OCO set there. Should be solid. Could have really got a great entry up in here, but just to, again, targeting right down to there. Um, the reason why is I just kind of feel like there's some demand down in here. Not really fresh demand, but enough to not play the full rotation. Could we get a full rotation? Yeah. <laughs> I didn't guess. I just, just reacted, just played it. So pop out. That's the first thing we need with TLM. Come back in. We took out demand right from the gap. The gap up, we pull back again. It's just really fast. We pull back 50%, right? That's where I got in, right? Enter market order, play the rotation down. So, um, again, now I'm OCO'd, it should be rock solid. Um, dang, so Meta did the same thing. See that Meta actually rotated fast. So, Meta did the same thing. Um, yeah, dang, Meta would have been solid. Meta moves fast. And that's what kind of hurt me last week. Um, I kept trying to get it, trying to get it, and it just moved so fast. Amazon would have been good too, but it's probably going to end up rotating with Outus. Almost a target there. It's going to be about $120 PT. Yeah, there we go, 125 on the day. That's awesome. Yeah, my sizing's a little bit off. I'd like to see that about – I should have done another contract. I uh, could have played the pro rotation too. Uh, but really solid day. I freaking love it. Real quick work day. <laughs> Four minutes into the market. We are up 125 bucks. Uh, nothing better than that. Nothing better than that. Again, I would have liked my sizing to be a little bit higher because as I had a 1 to 1.4 risk reward. So really my my target, it just happened so fast. My my stop would have been about 70 with this. And I don't, uh, my st average stop was about 150, 200. So I was about, on, honestly, almost half size. So um that's okay though. That's okay. Good day. <laughs> I honestly feel like I'm done for the day. That was awesome. Uh, I told you guys it would happen fast, but that feels good. Good to secure a win under my belt. Let's see if we can get anything else. Um, Amazon sees kind of bouncing, so I want to avoid that. Like for spy, I'd like to see you know a new high be made, and then like us break that um, to kind of like solidify exactly what we're doing. Look at that. They just keep going. It's awesome. It yeah, really could have had a one to two R there, but that's okay. I like this target. The reason I like this target is that that's an area of liquidity before, you know, at least some demand. We're making higher highs here. Right. So, um, yes, yeah, so I'm trading options on TOS. Correct. Wow. We're just dumping. Awesome trade. Awesome trade. It always feels good when you catch it there. Um, so like, let's look at Amazon, for example. This is what I'm talking about with that. What was Microsoft doing? Uh, Meadow's done, right? Yeah, Meadow rotated. Tesla's done, caught that. Um, I'm kind of upset with my sizing. I, I, that's okay. That's the only thing I'm upset with. So look at Amazon, right? So to me, this is close enough to demand that I don't want to play this. Could we rotate? Yeah, sure, right? But this, especially based off this reaction, if this reaction would have been, I probably would have shorted it, right? But since that's an aggressive, fast move higher, right? And we basically touched demand here. We're what, three cents away, four cents away, right? That tells me that this rotation is done, right? And we're going to probably break the new highs. Um, look at Tesla while. Wow. That's why I love OCOs, man. Freaking just get me out. I don't have to think about it. OCOs are a lifesaver. Um, yeah, you guys probably have, but if you haven't, I did I did do a video about OCOs and how to set them up um, on Thinkorswim. Um, the, let me just drop that link in here for you guys. Um, but I assume, probably most of you guys watched it, but um, yeah, make sure you guys watch that. Um, again, the, the, the best way to win in trading, in my opinion, is to automate. You know, 100%. That's the best way to win because it eliminates your emotions. So um, I got that video here in the description. 
or in the uh the chat there if you want to open that and watch that go right ahead um tesla bang sizing was off but Might be done for the day. This might be the sh freaking shortest live stream ever. No, 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 no. Do not reload. Ronald, did, did you watch the videos in the course? One rotation. Only the one rotation. All right. If you have another confirmation to take the trade, yes. Right? Yes, take the trade. If there's another confirmation that's not triple line, yes, take it. Take it. Take it, take it, take it. But... Um, we haven't really had a change in trend yet, right? Just because we have a one big candle doesn't tell me that buyers are, are doing anything, right? All we did was take out the low and form a strong high, right? So um, just be careful. Sort of fly. Oh, you're welcome, boss man. Yeah, Tesla's moving. Volatile. No volatile today. AMD even rotated. Wow, that was on that was almost on the watch list. I took it off because of the uh, demand here, but that would have been a solid one too. I don't I don't think I would have caught it. Knowing me, I would have got in like right here. Yeah, the risk reward wouldn't have been there. If I would have had that stop, I mean I guess I could have played this pullback. I don't know, Dang. I could have I could have probably played that if I would have been watching it. Do, 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 yeah, kind of upset with the sizing there. Boeing, nice, nice rotation on Boeing. That would have been really solid if I would have seen that. Uh, what was IWM doing? Nothing. Flat. Shopify. Yeah, looking solid. Looking solid. I, I really, I genuinely think. <laughs> Thanks, man. I should, I want to read that. The four hour work week. So does he just not trade on Fridays or what? <laughs> uh, bro, what is this fly doing? The fly. Oh, it's on the window. There it is. It's the worst part about summer, man. The freaking bugs. Oh, dang, this is cool. Trading is a great way to do that. This especially. Awesome way to do it. And then obviously the time aspect. Should I just end the live stream here to to make it to make up for the? <laughs> this looks really good, John. I know you were talking about this again. Remember what I just said. Remember what I said, though. I think the break of this high would be would be strong enough. I think it's good. Um, but again, just be careful with you know, kind of what your target is. I would I would probably not target above seventy two if I entered here. It looked kind of like like maybe play a pullback, stop below this strong low, or even even the low low and target up to here. Something like that. Maybe play a little bit more of a pullback. But you could have your stop here as well. Um, actually, no, because we changed trend there. Uh, okay. Zach, is, you, is it usually the stocks that rotate that quickly? Is it usually... What do you mean? Like that, that are the best to play? Or what do you mean? Is it usually the stocks that rotate that quickly? That are like the best to play? Or that, that I end up taking. Yeah, what do you what do you mean? Gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah, spy's just a little bit slower when it comes to TLM. Um, it'll rotate fast too, but SPY is less aggressive. Like Tesla, Meta, and AMD are three stocks that move fast. 
shot spy doesn't really move that fast most of the time right it has fast moves you know typically based off news i think this was news based um like it has those fast moves but amd meta and tesla are the three that in my opinion move the fastest um and like probably nvidia would be the next one um i don't really trade it it's so expensive it's like one options 1200 bucks stupid but um yeah the it, it typically i don't pick those because they move fast that's not why i was watching it it just was a good setup right so a spy would have been in that same scenario or it's a good setup like that i would have looked to take that too so um hopefully that answers your question there Yes, 100%. 100%. Um, yes. And let me, let's, let's do a quick analysis. So um, let's do a quick analysis. They, they do not pay a dividend. So that's like the one, um, the one thing I don't love about them, but um, definitely for a, from a growth perspective, but definitely would like to see. So I would think of it more as a trade than a long-term portfolio. You know what I'm saying? Like I would think of it more as like a leap, but with, shares not options um ideally you'd like to see you know let's just see if we continue to make low, lower lows let's just say we do this let's just say we do that specifically right ideally you'd like to see boom boom and then get in right kind of that change in trend right right in here right so if we get some aggressive buyers to step up again kind of like here right so there's a lot of people I got faked out by this move, right? And now they're like, what the heck? I'm going to get stopped out, right? Lots of people, at least from people I saw on Twitter. Um, lots of people, right? Because that's just a pullback, right? For higher down, it's forming a strong high, right? Um, so yeah, I would like to see something like this. Like you can kind of see my drawing. So pull up to like, you know, 220-ish, two, you know, in a perfect world come down and stop on the 101 like 100 mark right that'd be a good indicator that fear is very high right institutions are going to step in push us higher right break above the 220 mark and then if we can get in on a pullback that'd be like ideal so that could happen in you know a couple months it could be in a year right but that's what you'd kind of like to see happen um don't get caught up in don't get caught up in uh, like the market moves in cycles, right? So the summer is going to be a, a rather hotter time where we typically experience um, volatility, right? Um, don't get caught up in, if we do this, trying to get long, right? If you if we do that, you need to wait till at least the 300 high gets taken out, right? Because again, the same thing's going to happen here as it did, the same thing's going to happen here as it did here, right? Uh, but I'd really like to see kind of how I have it drawn out there. It would be the boom, boom. So kind of come up, have a nice retracement, you know, solidify this high, come down, make a new low, and then stop on the, the 100 low and push higher. So that's kind of my analysis there. Oh, what else call me? Well... Oh, and also, if you guys did not know, I again, I assume most of you guys know, but I did come out with a newsletter, right, on Substack. Um, and, um, yeah, it's awesome. So I have one coming out today for you guys. Um, I have one coming out for today for you guys. So we got 
uh, quite a bit of subs. Uh, it's awesome. I love love having you guys there with me. Uh, we got one coming out today. Um, we're going to kind of walk through, you know, why dividend investing, why I do it, why growth is, is good. And then also um, kind of my exact buys for the week. So um, should be awesome. Should be awesome. Excited to go on this journey with you guys. Um, okay. What do you think about QQQ? If we, I can't read that because there's a, there's like an emoji there. If we make, there's a heart there. If we make a lower low, even though demand is kind of there, you're talking TLM, I assume. Yep, you want to wait till the man gets taken out. And so this is like one I don't like. Because kind of let's let's just say this is our demand zone, right? Because if I go to a five minute, it would be, right? That's our demand, right? Very I did already post a swing winner. I did. I did. And I'll look at that in a second. And there's gonna be tons more because honestly, long-term investing is my it, it, to me, it's you don't have to be quick. It's easy, uh, in my opinion. But anyways, it just it comes down to analysis. It comes down to actually knowing how to look at the chart. And 90% of people that invest now, they just like, oh, this stock has good. Uh, this stock has a very cool uh, car they sell, Tesla, right? And they buy Tesla at 400. <laughs> but so will this, could this work? Yes, absolutely. But... Does it have a high probability? Again, like I said earlier, I don't know if you were here, Brad, but um, what I'm noticing a very reoccurring issue in my trading as I'm as I'm reviewing and journaling, uh, and that's why I'm doing this small account challenge because I want to be like, hey, you know, what are if we need more rules for Freedom Team students, right? What are those rules, right? And I think a very big one, a very one that I uh, one that I'm noticing is whenever we have demand. Or, I mean, or supply, vice versa, but just in this example, demand, right? Inside of TLM, and we gap up outside of it like this. The only way it works, you know, over five out of 10 times, right, is if we're able to take out the demand, pull back, accept, and then rotate, right? What typically happens is this demand will cause, you know, buyers to be in this area. They'll cause kind of a, a, a fake out to push higher and then we come back and then we rotate, right? But what's happening is we are all getting stopped out, right? Me included, right? It happened to me probably four times last week, right? We are all getting stopped out. And then because our rules are one rotation, first hour of the day, you know, X, Y, Z, we're missing out on the actual rotation later in the day, right? So I'm doing my best to stay away from these type of tickers right here. So a good one, right? Again, like Tesla, right? We had demand here. We got that. We took it out, right? Uh, we had nothing blocking us from rotating. We had no fresh demand. Uh, Microsoft, right? We have demand all the way out here, all right? So if we come down and we take out this low, like, yes, it didn't really rotate 50% or it didn't pull back 50% or more from that low. And to me, this look, I probably wouldn't trade it because it looks more of like an uptrend. But if we can come down with like an aggressive selling, you know, start to pull back, I could short it, right? Um, I could short it there. But because, right, even though we gap up, my demand is outside. So we have a better chance to full, get a full rotation. Does that help you see that, Brad? Check Brad, check Brad. Tuesday, Tuesday. <laughs> Tuesday, Tuesday. Perfect. Bum, 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 bum. Nope, never use it. Never, never, ever do I use VWAP. Um, I think I think indicators are hogwash. I really do. VWAP is like the one that kind of makes sense because it's based off volume. But let's like let's go to Tesla. 
and let's throw on a VWAP. Let me uh, edit this. Um, I think if I remember right, you don't have the bands. You just should have that. Like that would be your view up, right? So live, live trading. How would I have been able, like, I just don't know how to trade it, right? If I would have been relying on this, I would have been like, oh, we're above, we're below, we're above, we're below. Oh, we came back above, right? To me, I think it's, I think it's trash. It's just hard. It's hard when you're day trading, potentially if you're swinging, you know, or like intra, like day swinging, maybe, you know, like not day swing, but like longer term day trade, maybe, right? Um, but with this specifically, a lot of fake outs. Do you know who taught you that? Was it a YouTube video? Or Twitter, right? If, yeah. I mean, this is just my, again, my opinion. It's not, you know, it, I, it could be wrong. But in my opinion, indicators lag, right? Actually, that's a fact. Indicators are lagging, right? They're all based off what happened right? They're not going to help you react to what is going to happen, right? Um, yeah, I mean, again, this is my opinion. I'm not an indicator guy. I was for, I, I remember I had to purchase the higher tier trading view because I was running out of room for indicators. Now my indicator, my, I use TLM volume, and then I use this watermark to mark freedom team trading at the top. That's all, right? Really solid move for, for Microsoft here. Could be potential. Could be potential. Got some supply. Um, I'd like to see some acceptance form uh, and probably play the break of this low. Like something like this. Again, like pull back, play the break. See what happens. Could probably even have my stop up here, but I like to stop above the supply. I got a good risk reward there. Um, Super sleepy, man. Yep, Tesla super turned in down. Yeah, here we go. Spy as well, but again with demand there. Bro, this fly, like it's on my window, it's so annoying. It's like a, a fat boy. Big boy. I'd really like to see some acceptance, but this this kind of break here, continuation would be nice too. Let's see what uh, loss would be. Could be one that happens all day. You know, it could be an all day type trade, but it's measured right now. Stop at four seventeen sixty. A hundred dollar loss. So yeah, if you can do four, let's write it. I'll write it at the break there. Yeah, that's right. Relative volume spike, so could get in trouble, but I'll write it. See what happens. Said no CO and walk away. My fill is kind of crappy. At or below, I'll just do 415.3. And then at or above 417.6 is a good stop. Yeah, really, based off my option contract, my entry is about right there based off the spread. So about 1.5R. 
Dude, I might need to get one, bro. And, and I'm also like, so this office space is in my garage. Um, so like obviously attached garage and it's a, it was a two car garage. We, it converted it, the previous owner converted to a one car garage. Um, and so like, like obviously I have a wall here, but, and it's like a square, but, um, like cars parked right, right there, behind, like that way behind me, behind you or yeah, behind the, behind my computer. <laughs> and, but there's an issue with my door. The door that I bought is a little warped and like, we just had to fix the underlayment, um, that, you know, that connects the door that seals the, that seals the hole. It's just a little off. Um, and so I think like flies are getting in through that, uh, cause obviously it's my garage. So, but I haven't had any spiders, no ants, nothing like that, but there's been a couple flies. So, um, yeah, super annoying. But yeah. Uh, Microsoft's looking solid so far. Um, should be, should be a good trade. Uh, we'll see. You know, I think it's a plus, so we'll see. So I'll just make sure my OCOs are right. We got my target at 415.3. Right. The, I just always round to the nearest 0 0.05. Just easy for me for setting OCOs. Um, so I could go to, I guess I could go 0.25. Let me do that. Bro, this fly, bro. The only thing I don't like about this is that we could on a higher time frame. Now we pull back 50%. That's the only thing I don't like. Only thing I don't like, but um, I think we have a good chance to at least see demand again. Um, and if I lose, I lose. And then my stop is 417.6. Um, so, so we saw the at or above 4176 at or below 50. Yeah. It's set up right. I had an issue on Monday where I set up my OCO and it was completely wrong and I lost on it. So I want to make sure it's right. Let's see what happens. You know, worst case scenario, I'm break even on Monday. So. Anything you guys are still watching here? John, you may have cursed it. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, I'm just kidding. I'm mean, excited for the newsletter to come out. Oh, yeah. The stock that I pointed out in the newsletter was United Healthcare or United Health Group, um, UNH. Um, really freaking solid. So uh, I ended up gapping up to day two. So again, got in here. Actually, I got in. Um, I sent I sent it out Saturday. So I got in Friday. Um, said I was buying. I'm gonna continue to buy more. Like it's still undervalued, but um, got in here up and awesome. Let me see what I'm up right now. I guess I can just go like this. Let's just say let's just say I got in here. You know. I did, I, get, I did buy on Friday when I was at the auction, though. So let's just say I got in here. Where, where's Friday? Let's just say market open on Friday. So it's up about 10%. It's freaking awesome, bro. I was, up, I was up 6% yesterday at market open. So we were up a little bit more. I just have one share, so I don't have a lot. That's like 400 bucks. Um, also, uh, Realty Income paid their dividend, which is awesome. Um, yeah, man. Lots to be lots to be thankful for when it comes to that. Um, I think the retrace just happened, buddy. But yeah, this this looks like this is a great buy right now. It's in my DCA zone as well. Um, let me go to the weekly. It's in my DCA zone. This is like what I have as a dollar cost average zone. So we're actually popping out of it. But um, I think it's still a good buy. You could honestly probably. Uh, I think my intrinsic value. Yeah, I think my intrinsic value. Uh, you could probably go up to like five hundred. I wouldn't buy above five hundred, but any anywhere in here, it's a good buy. Um, really good buy. Um, and then Uber. Uber for what? Oh, you're always swinging, Judy. You're always looking at Uber. <laughs> you're always looking at Uber. 
And it's only nine o'clock. It's crazy. A lot of market left. I oh, yeah, Uber for what? No, I'm short. Like day trading? Let's go dump it, Microsoft. I'm I'm sorry. Like like day trading, you're short or swing. You're always swinging. Okay. Um, TLM looks nice, but you know this looks good. Talk me through your trade. Just talk me through it. Yeah, I think it looks solid. I think it looks freaking solid for shorts. It's awesome. Really good trade. What's your target? Microsoft just dumped in it. I'm up 150 bucks. Yeah, dude, this is a really good trade, Judy. Really freaking good job. Nice. Mr. John waiting for the retracement with the with the perfect entry. <clears throat> yeah, let's see kind of what happens, but should be solid. Should be a good day. see what happens but 73 that's a really good trade judy good job relative volume spike i don't like that really at all we'll see what happens i do not like that though i hate seeing volume spikes going going against me like that but we'll see. And right up, right at um, Park middle line. So we'll see. But, oh, could just be some sell orders coming in. Microsoft's another one I'm looking to buy uh, long term, but I need a lot. I think the intrinsic value is about 350. So again, I'll, I'll do a newsletter about intrinsic value and what that is um, and why, why I calculate it. But Really, it's just about, you know, fair value of a stock and um, et cetera. Like, there's lots to it. But, yeah, around, it's around that 350 area, if I remember correctly. Um, I have it all calculated on another spreadsheet. But um, it's gone because I always hit clear drawings and it goes away. Uh, and I can't save it anywhere. So, um, are you playing TLM, brother? Playing TLM, you should get out before that. If you're playing supply and demand, you're solid with that target. Reconfirmed attendance. Cool. Yes, we'll see what happens. It could be an all day type trade, but um, where else is? Do, 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 do. PR is looking good. I, this one's, I, I could do an article on this, but. It's I just own it because my my buddy works there. I think they have good numbers. Oh, oh I own that. Haven't updated this yet. Meta coming to demand. Let's look at it. Let's just take that off. Is it fresh though? Where's the demand? This gap up? It's not fresh though. We've already touched it four, five, one, two, two times on the 30 minute. I would say the best next demand zone would be down here. Kind of right there at 490 ish. 490 ish. Yeah, we're we're raking lows, buddy. Now, if we do this, I'll look to trade it. Like we kind of form demand, but right now, this demand has already been touched. Well, that's starting to rip. Just a pullback. That's all I'm gonna. That's all I'm gonna tell sell myself. Just to pull back.
Hey, if you guys can for me, go and like this, like this live. It should be, should be down here. Go ahead and like it for me. I'd really appreciate that if you can like it for me. Yeah, it should be. Should be kind of right underneath my face. It's funny that I'm watching it live. There's there's a little bit of a lag. <laughs> I didn't notice that, but there is a little bit of a lag. It's probably about two seconds behind. Um, arm day or swing Hess. Hold a senior thinking to the upside. Um, we got some weekly demand down in here. How's it going? We got like a two hour. Honestly, thanks, Kyle, for the sub. If you're in here, appreciate that. Um, honestly, dude, I would wait till price comes down into here. Demand 78. I think we're going to see it. So you could potentially get short as well and play it down. I don't really like, sh you know, shorting into demand. You know what I'm saying? I don't like shorting into. Um, but I I think the the play would be reaction. Uh, play, it, play it off there. So just wait. Sit on hands until 80. Um, yeah, it's pretty tough. I'm um, looking at a swing. Day, like if it was a day trade, I would have said, bro, yeah, you should have got short. Like get short at um actually there's really no low like yeah it's hard it's hard when the market moves like this like you could have got short like if you were swinging it gap up have demand right here play on the pullback stop above the high target the low like that would have been a good trade that would have met the rules of how we trade right but um yeah yeah, overall. Yeah, overall, I'd probably wait for a demand bounce down below. Oh, sorry. I forgot to update that. Let's see here, baby. Just to, just another pullback for the boys. Should be solid all the way through. Yeah, I don't really want to move my stop break even yet. Um, yeah, no need to. No need to. We like if we maybe if we make if we make like a new low and start doing that, I'll put my stop break even, but I'm not a big I'm not a big move stop guy. It's not really my forte. Because I do so much automation. Um but yeah, it should be solid. All right, two cents, dude. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> That's ridiculous. I knew I should put my target at 415.3, bro. I knew it. That's stupid if that doesn't rotate. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and move my stop break even there. Based off that, it should be fine. Like it, it should be no problem. But just so I don't have to be mad at myself. Oh, never mind. Never mind. We're good. Let's go, baby. We're back. 2-0 today. Let's go. Let's go. That feels good. Up 350 on the day. Really solid day. 
Uh, should have been up more, but sizing was messed up on Tesla. Microsoft for the freaking win. And I'm telling you, bro, I, I genuinely, again, my, I have spy work too, but I really think it, it may just be, again, in my in my back testing that I'm doing, it's either the it's either the first move down is a fake out and we're going to get, and we're, and we're getting stopped out or that second move. Yeah. See, this was solid after the break of this low, truly, but kind of have equal highs. I would probably have stayed away, but um, I'm, I really think, again, I think that back testing that I'm doing is working um, kind of getting the kinks out. So are you talking on? Yes. Um, kind of. Yes, it did. It, it really did. The only thing is, so whenever we have equal highs like this, so that's going to be liquidity. Sorry, liquidity. So you want to be careful whenever we have equal highs, because typically we make them like we sweep it, right? So whenever we have liqu liquidity is made to be swept, right? So whenever we have equal highs like that, you just want to be careful. Um, but once we took out this low, it would have been a solid trade, but you wouldn't have had a good risk reward. Like you would have had to target there. So you'd have to wait for a pullback. You wouldn't have got it. So um, it's okay. Yeah. Awesome day. Appreciate you guys for joining. Honestly, with that, you know, I'm I'm chilling. I'm done. But um it feels good. It feels good to be back. Good Wednesday. Really nice day. Um always feels good to do stuff like that, especially live. Awesome. <laughs> any more? I'm going to upload my stuff to uh, Trezella, but any questions that you guys have as we kind of wrap up today? Uh, what is all this crap? Make sure all my orders are canceled. Yeah, working, canceled. Yeah, they're all full. Oh, it's because I have that down. Normally, I don't have that down. Okay. Solid. I think it was that McDonald's I had before. <laughs> it's funny. Bro, this fly is in my ear. It's freaking over there. It's so annoying. Really solid day. Feels good. Yeah, I was kind of on a I was on a one, two, three, four, five, six trade losing streak. Um from that. But really solid. Yeah, I'm still upset about the Tesla sizing. It's okay. I need a Friggin not do all on stuff. John, you have a great day of work. I'm going to, I got coaching calls today, but um, I got quote unquote work as well, but it's fun. So I enjoy, I enjoy coaching. So, but no, man, awesome. Appreciate you guys hopping on. Um, any questions, let me know. You can send me a message in Slack. Uh, if you're in the freedom team in school, if you're in the vault, um, if you guys are, or if you are in the vault uh, and not inside a freedom team, and you're and you're looking to join the mentorship program and and do exactly what I do on an everyday basis, um, DM me um, on 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 school. And DM me, I'd be happy to walk you through the steps of what it looks like for you to become a part of the program as well. Uh, we're here to help, so nothing that that's what we're doing. So, I'd be happy to to get you in, get you rocking and rolling, get you set up with a coach, a mentor give you the step-by-step -step strategies that we use every single day um, and make a lot of money. Make a lot of money. Awesome. Well, I appreciate you guys. Hope you have a good rest of your day. I will see you next week on YouTube and be on the lookout for another video coming soon to the channel. Again, peace. Love you. Here come the, uh, the confetti, the fireworks, right? Appreciate you guys. Peace.